Apart from Airbender, to everyone's favorite, a Clombo. Here are 25 things that was cancelled by Fortnite. Now let's go all the way back to chapter 1. One of the most rarest and iconic weapons that has never returned is the Zapatron. This weapon was in the game for only just few hours. The reason for that is this weapon was too OP. There's only one video in existence where we can see the power of the Zapatron. You can see you can one-shot any player. Recently, another video surfaced claiming they used Zapatron. Unfortunately, this video was faked. We did see Zapatron inside of Cadal Thorn's vault, and everyone thought it was finally going to be here. But unfortunately, it looks like we are never going to see it. There was another item that was really popular in Fortnite Season 0. It was a directional bounce pad. Now, this was a small pad that you place on the ground Ground, would push you forward to cross a hill or surprise an enemy but a lot of players didn't like it it was kind of useless fortnite removed it and we have never seen it ever since now you will only remember this if you're an og player but the default dance had a third music now the default dance one of the most popular emotes ever since literally everyone has this emote as you all know if you use this emote you hear either this music or this but there was a third music that was removed before i show you guys that music i'm giving away a skin all you have to do is subscribe and if you want to help me out use code smjam and like this video but here is the third music Fortnite just randomly removed the third music for no reason. We have not seen it ever since. One item that was removed that made every Fortnite player look to the ceilings every time they walked into a house in the Fortnite. I'm obviously talking about spike traps. Traps used to be very popular in builds because it would stop your opponents just jumping into your box. Because if they did, all you had to do was place traps and they would instantly get eliminated. So if you didn't know, there actually different traps that was added throughout chapter one like poison traps this a zappa trap but in chapter two fortnite completely removed all of the traps other than in ltms we have not seen traps in game one weapon that was removed because it was too glitchy was the guided missiles now, if you guys didn't know guided missiles are just rpgs that you can control just guide the missile to your enemies fortnite thought people would use this as a weapon fortnite players are very creative they use this as mobility it would rocket ride the missiles guide them around like an airplane also due to other lots of glitches fortnite completely removed the guided missiles has never brought it back ever since one of the most popular mechanic that was removed from the game lots of players has been hoping it to be back ever since chapter one season five i'm talking about a double pump if you guys didn't know what double pump is it's literally two pump shotguns and since there was no delay between two shotguns you could literally spam them you could eliminate someone in just less than a second you had to be quite a skilled player to do this all the casual players complained and fortnite added a delay between shotguns despite few rumors now and then we have never seen a double pump since then there's one item that was in the game for literally 30 minutes Majority of Fortnite players don't even know that this item ever existed. This was called Eye of the Storm Tracker. It was a blue rarity item. If you equipped this item, it would replace your backpack. And it would tell you the next circle. Now, it wasn't super OP. But we don't really know why Fortnite removed this item after only 30 minutes. And since then, we have received items similar to that, like Storm Scout Sniper Rifle. At one point, in Fortnite, players played their games looking like this. Right, this is a stretch a resolution. PC players changed their settings to make their resolution stretched. This allowed them to see more of their surroundings, so giving them more frame rates. This would give them a huge advantage. But unfortunately, as you can see, the game looked really bad. Since this was very unfair to console players, Fortnite completely removed this. 
And if someone manages to figure out a way to do this, this will be considered cheating and they will get banned. Tifu was one of the players that used a stretch rest and he also removed this next weapon. When it comes to rifles, there was a division between players. There were players who used the normal AR and there were players that used the burst AR. Tifu at the time started a trend where he played as a default skin. He was the most famous Fortnite streamer at the time and this trend was growing. Everyone was wearing default skins. Tifu said I would only buy skins if they removed the burst AR. Obviously Fortnite makes money from the item shop and they were losing a lot of business. So that's exactly what they did. They removed the burst AR. Even though we have seen different burst ARs come to the game ever since but we've not seen that particular one. Now in chapter 2 season 2 everyone was shocked. Find a random magical mushroom in Weeping Woods. If you danced in front of this mushroom it would follow you and it would heal you as well. But unfortunately not a lot of people got to try this because Fortnite removed them. That confused everyone. So Fortnite secretly added a mythical mushroom which had spawn chance of 0.0001%. If you ate this mushroom it would completely heal you. But since it was a very rare no one got the chance to try this and it was eventually removed and we have never seen it ever since. In chapter 2 season 7 Fortnite added a really fun and wacky item. This was to promote the Ariana Grande concert. It was just these bubbles. You could get in this bubble and just bounce around but unfortunately there was this little glitch. That's right you could use this bubble to literally fly from one part of the map to the other and back in just a few seconds. Soon as Fortnite heard about this glitch it was removed from the game forever. In chapter 2 season 5 Fortnite added something that people did not expect at the Midas fish. Now, this fish wasn't as rare as the mythical mushroom but it was more powerful. If you ate this fish every single weapon in your inventory would turn to gold rarity. This was secretly added to the game and it was secretly removed never to be seen. Fortnite added the infinity blade. It went so bad that they had to apologize to every player for adding this weapon. In chapter 1 season 7 Fortnite players discovered this mythical sword at a polar peak. Literally everyone landed at this location to get this sword because if your teammate had this sword winning the game was almost guaranteed. And this update was made only a few days before Fortnite tournament and someone grabbed this sword and destroyed literally everyone. Almost every Fortnite player complained about the sword. It was removed after a few days. Fortnite apologized to every player and we've never seen it ever since. This next weapon was so bad that Fortnite has never brought it back. We are talking about the recycler gun. This was probably one of the most useless gun Fortnite has ever added to the game. You could farm things using this item, recycled whatever you just farmed and shoot it like a cannonball and it did not do much damage as well. It was so bad Fortnite removed it. This item must never come back but this next item was really fun and people would love to have it back. In season 7 of chapter 2, Fortnite introduced this item called Grabatron. Basically using this gun you could grab literally anything including rockets and throw it towards your enemies and dealing damage to them. This item created a lot of funny memes but after this season this item was removed from the game and we have never seen it ever since. In chapter 1 season 6 Fortnite added this skin that shocked everyone especially the parents. Guess I don't have to explain to you guys what was wrong with this skin. Lots of parents complained to Epic Games. It was removed in literally a few days. In chapter 3, Fortnite added a wildlife that everyone fell in love with. I'm talking about Clombos. These mythical creatures was in the game. If you fed them Clomberries, they would drop you weapons and items. Still, if you shot at them and 
and they would turn into this evil clombo. For some reason, Fortnite completely removed them. And few seasons later, we saw this. Despite everyone's request, we have not seen clombo ever since. Since Fortnite announced the last Airbender collaboration, everyone thought they were going to see a creature similar to clombo Appa. I mean, it made up complete sense. You could use it as a mobility, but unfortunately, Fortnite cancelled that and just released Appa as just a glider. Please leave a like, subscribe, and use code SMJM.